For years, the village of Chechava, near the town of Teslic, has been waiting to be connected to the city water supply system. Savo says a few months ago they thought their dreams would become a reality and the water wells in front of their houses would be a thing of the past. The expansion of the water supply network had included their village. However, the ongoing political crisis in the country has blocked the continuation of the project financed by the European Investment Bank. Nobody drinks or cooks with this water. We only use it for showers and toilets. We have to go to the springs uphill. I go every day to get 10, 20, 50 litres. When we drink it, we go and get it again. The municipal government had planned to connect two-thirds of the population to the city water supply by building a new filter station. The largest post-war project in Teslic was supposed to be completed in March 2023, but it was blocked because the presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina did not sign the agreement with the European Investment Bank that finances it. This is a direct example of the impact of the blockade of the institutions of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which directly affects the quality of life for ordinary people, and the lives of our people should be everybody's priority. He adds that the blockade of this project will affect almost 26,000 people. And it's not the only project that has been blocked. A million-dollar fund to help economic development in areas along the border between Bosnia-Herzegovina and Serbia is on hold, as is an agreement with Norway on financing projects in Bosnia's justice system and approvals from the Japanese government to appoint an agent to procure equipment for the border police and hospitals. At the centre of the crisis is Milorad Dodik, the leader of the Bosnian Serb enclave Republika Srpska, a member of Bosnia and Herzegovina's tripartite presidency. Dodik has refused to participate in any decision making process worth more than 50 million euros because, he says, it goes against the ruling of the entity's National Assembly. I think all I'm doing is strengthening the role of the National Assembly here which should be the final place of decision-making, not the presidency. It has created a crisis which some believe will enable Dodik to stay in power. The fact is, it's easier to rule over poor people. And it's also a fact that the municipalities where the projects are being blocked are the ones run by leaders and mayors from opposition parties. So Milorad Dodik is trying to suppress the opposition. In Teslic, another consequence of the blockade is all too evident. The planned construction of a wastewater management plant will allow treated water from the sewage to flow directly into the Usora River as early as next year. But that won't be possible without the decision of the presidency. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.